Fines. Look, we all don't like getting fines. Okay, we all get pissed off and angry and frustrated. It's understandable. We're human. We don't want our hard-earned cash that we work for to suddenly go out to the man because of a mistake we made. But it's the law. And if you get caught breaking the law, you have to pay the piper. It's as simple as that. So, this lovely young lad right here got a speeding ticket. He got a speeding ticket for traveling 39 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone. Now, just in case one or two of you might think, oh, that ain't so bad. That ain't so bad. We'll just quickly take a look at this. If you hit me at 40 miles an hour, there's around an 80% chance I'll die. Hit me at 30 and there's around an 80% chance I'll live. Well, look. That was, that advert was about seven years old. I admit that advert is about seven years old. So the figures might have changed since then, okay? But the facts are facts. You're more likely to survive getting hit by a 30 mile an hour car than a 40 mile an hour car. Apparently the statistics say that if you, that you're four times likely to die from getting hit by a 40 mile an hour car than getting hit by 30 miles an hour. And that's exactly why these 30 mile an hour zones exist. <laughs> I, t I tell you what, it must have been a right pain in the ass to have hauled all those pennies, those, those boxes and boxes of pennies, all the way back from the bank or wherever he got them. Bloody hell. <laughs> Extortion money and policing for profit. You know what? He should have changed those two. I'm a little fucking crybaby bitch who broke the law and can't fucking take it. You know, I'm really loving the music in the background. It really makes him sound like a, oh yeah, I'm a real rebel. Watch me get my, my penny swag on. Stick it to the man. Because I'm going to stroll in there. With my pennies, like a penny pin. And then I'll be like, oh, I have some of that. Oh, yes, yes, he has to wear the, uh, you know, the proper attire for his, like, rebellious act, eh? Really gotta show that he means business. Hello, I'm here to pay a traffic ticket. Okay, can I get your um, driver's license, please? And you take exact change? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Let me run up to the truck. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to be grabbing your file. Perfect. You know, he's been so, so subtle. You know, just so he can spring his, uh, his pennies of doom on the, uh, on the, on the, on the man, you know. <laughs> God, man. I found exact change. You know, I really feel sorry for the woman behind the counter because now she has to deal with this shit. You know, she has to deal with it. You know, imagine if you're working all day, you're working all day, being nice to people, doing your job well, being nice to people, and then some guy comes along and chucks two massive buckets of pennies in your face. You know, it's... Peace out. But, uh, yeah, but no, he looks like a real badass, you know, with his two mighty fingers stuck up in the air. Yes, Mr. Sanders, this is Matthew, Frisco Municipal Court. Uh, I was calling to see, um, you actually have change coming back to you. I was calling to see when you wanted to pick up your change. Um, if you can, just give me a call back. The number is 972-292-5560, um, and uh, I can make sure I have it ready for you in the safe and... 
Um, when you're ready to pick it up, I can give you a change. All right, sir. You have a nice day. Bye. And even after all that, they still had the courtesy to call him and say, you've overpaid us. We've got change for you. You can come pick it up. Very politely as well, despite what he did. I mean, look, look. I can appreciate that he is really pissed off. If it had happened to me, I would be really, really pissed off as well, having over 200 quid, or 200 bucks in this case, of my hard-earned cash, and having to pay it because I made a mistake. Yeah, I'd be pissed off as well, but I'd still pay it, like a, like a good citizen, really. Yo, I mean, you went for, I mean, this man, this man went through the trouble of getting 220 odd dollars or whatever it was, over 200 dollars worth of pennies by going to, he must have gone to the bank or something to get it, right? Hauling all that money back, right? Emptying out every single box, emptying out every single uh, tube of pennies, right? Then getting two buckets, then filling it up, then taking those two heavy buckets into a car and then taking them all the way to the, uh, you know, to, to whoever, wherever you got to bloody pay the bill, okay? I mean, how much time did that use up in his day? He did all that just to apparently make a point. Look, the only point this guy made is that he's a big crybaby. You can't take the fact that he fucked up and that he had to pay. He wouldn't think it's so stupid if he was crossing the road in a 30 mile an hour zone and he got hit by someone that was traveling well over 30 miles an hour, say the same speed that he was traveling at, let's just say he survives. He's got a lot of broken bones, he's had to have a lot of surgery done. You know what would be saying in that hospital? Oh, that guy should have been going at 30 miles an hour. If he had gone at 30 miles an hour, he might not have even hit me. Or I might not even suffered as many injuries. And that's exactly what he would have been saying. So guys, look, there's a reason why the speed limits are there. It's for your safety. It's for my safety. It's for everybody's safety. Okay, depending how you know, depending how fast a vehicle hits you, depends on your chances of living. That's why the, the limits are down. If you break those limits, you're actually putting someone else's life at risk. If that awful moment comes about when someone walks out in front of you, you're only increasing, you know, the chances of that person dying if you hit someone. That is why the limits are down. That's it, I'm finished, I'm done, I'm done with this video. Okay, the Greek is out. He's out. But anyway guys, look, thanks very much for stopping by, checking out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys later on the next video. Take care of yourselves, bye-bye.